On a lot of farms, ORF causes problems to lambs. Uh, it's a, a virus that causes infection of the lips and sometimes in, inside the mouth um, and can lead to real reduced growth rates in the lambs and sometimes death. It also causes mastitis in the ewes if the lambs have scabby lips and are, are licking, um, sucking off the ewes' teeth. So a good way of preventing the impact of the disease is to use an ORF vaccine. Only use it if you have ORF on your farm because as it is a live vaccine, it can, uh, can transmit ORF in itself. This is the Scabivax applicator. Um, you put your bottle in there and you uh, prime, prime it to get a little drop of the fluid at the bottom there. Um, try not to get any on your skin because the, uh, it is a live vaccine and we can catch off. Before you start a day's all vaccinating um, and also at the end it's worthwhile to take the gun to pieces and pour it boiling water over it to disinfect it. What we don't want to be doing is uh, you get some bacterial contamination of the prongs and scratching all the lambs you can spread uh, infection. So it's important to, to clean it before and after use. Don't use a disinfectant that can kill the all vaccine because it's quite a fragile thing. Just use boiling water and then let it dry out. So if you prime, prime the, the gun until there's a little drop of fluid there and you want to find under the lamb's foreleg, uh, if you find a, a bald bit of skin there, it's important to do a foreleg rather than a back leg. Lambs and ewes recognise each other by sniffing at their backsides. Um, and it, if, if the lambs have got a vaccine reaction there and they're sniffing at the backside, that can actually give them more off on top of their nose. Uh, they don't tend to sniff each other's armpits or axilla, so much better to use the front leg. And you need to take this and hold it 45 degrees from the lamb's skin and draw it along. You want to have enough pressure to cause a scratch, a little red line, but if you, you don't want to go too deep, it actually draws blood. And there should be a little um, line in the skin. You can see where you've damaged the top layer of skin, but uh, sufficient for the vaccine to have a take, but not so it's bleeding and you've gone right through the skin layer. If the prongs get gummed up with um, dirt and grease, just get a bit of clean cotton wool, give them a wipe, and then put that cotton wool in a bin. Don't just live, leave that lying around because that will have the live wolf vaccine on as well. And that will just uh, clean them off.